at that truck though. That color. Mm -mm -mm. No one's here. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're out here exploring the Eastern Sierra once again. Uh, there's a couple of spots we've been wanting to see the past years or so, but we haven't got a chance to see. So this trip, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, just overlanding, uh, finding some dispersed campground, campsite actually. And uh, yeah, to do, hit up some trail, see some spots that we haven't seen in the past few years. So we'll take you guys along, show you guys some of the trail that we've been doing, and uh, some of the camping and sightseeing experience we get to see here in Eastern Sierra. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to engage for high uh, right now, not because um, the condition is not that bad. It's just a little steep and my tires right now is stock. So it's spinning a lot. It just, it's easy. Um, two wheel drive with all terrain, high clearance should be fine. But my wheel could spinning because my tire is still stock. And uh, we have a little bit of a uh, hill right now. All right, it's on floor high. Should be. There it is. Oh wow, <laughs> way easier. Gosh, I feel like I'm cheating with uh, four wheel drive. There's a few rock. Oh, there's little sharp, so be careful. Huh? I already know I got pinstripe. <laughs> Uh, it hurts, but it is what it is. Uh, but man, four-wheel drive makes that thing easy. Yeah, you have all-terrain. It, it should be pretty easy. Definitely uh, getting a little more rutted here. As you get into the tree line, a lot more rocks. But uh, so far, it's not too bad. Just a little steep, but consistency on the pedal is fine. Ready, I think, from all the water. Coming. Yeah, it's some steep rock section here guys so two-wheel drive 
might be a little issue, especially this rutted section right here. It's hard to see how steep it is, but that's the truck down there. So the trail continued there, that steep section was what we had to climb. It was fun, so far. <laughs> I'm gonna let uh, Scott lead again. My issue is not uh, two-wheel drive, it's my tires. They're stock and man, they're not doing his job for sure. So that's the only reason I have to engage four-wheel drive, but I think it's two-wheel drive, air down, should be fine. My clearance is what I'm concerned about more, but so far, take it easy, should be fine. All right, we barely scratched the surface of this trail. We're there, but uh, it's pretty out here. So far, I right, see what thing we spec on this uh, trail oh man we're climbing uh pretty high i think we started out like four thousand, and we had like almost eight thousand within like a mile two miles or something like that don't quote me on that so check it out but uh definitely it's just a little bit more like a forest road right now So it's getting a little steep. We're at almost, uh, what, 8,700 feet. Uh, I think we started around 4,000, but uh, my uh, truck is need more momentum. So if you guys have an all-wheel drive CVT transmission, um, just be careful of my overheat in this air, this section at least. But the trail, it's, uh, so far right now, it's really easy. No more rocky section. No more wood, the pine tree area is all just kind of shrubberies. But pinstripe, got a first few hundreds. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, this, this trail is kind of cool. So we'll see what else uh, this trail can lead us to. So we were able to get a little less wind and uh, got the drone up. Man, it is gorgeous here. Uh, check out the drone footage.
All right, guys, what do you guys think of that uh, trail review so far? Let me know in the comment section below. But for now, you can hit that like button real quick. That will help this video out tremendously. All right, let's get back into the video. So you're going to go up a little steep, rocky section here, but uh, we encounter snow right now. Just patches. We'll be fine, but I just want to stop here and just take in the view. My goodness. All right, testing out for low for the first time over that snow section. <laughs> that was fun. I don't think anybody been on, on this trail because uh, that snow pack, there is no tire track whatsoever. So I'm assuming we're one of the first one on this trail in a while at least because we haven't counted yet one person going in or out. So we might be ourselves up here. But uh, so far we're like, 70% done with the trail and it's beautiful. We might take an offshoot just to check it out um, and then uh, see where that leads to but so far the terrain is very much the same. A lot of sagebrush right now and up there I think those are all Bristol cone pine. So we definitely encountered Bristol cone pine. It's kind of cool. So I think we're gonna just hook the right, my right. Uh, instead of climbing up because it's just easier lying. So he has all new tires. Yeah, he's still spinning. It's not just snow, it's actually compact ice. FYI. <laughs> Alright, straight, straight ahead, straight ahead. Alright, keep that line, keep that line. You're gonna go into the route right now. Those tires are not good. Yeah. Front and back are spinning. There you go, there you go. Again guys, I mean, this view though. Uh, so we definitely uh, need to put on my all-terrain because these tires are not meant for snow or ice at least. But we got through it, let's keep spinning. I have to put in my locker, finally get to use my locker <laughs> to really help it through. But uh, Scott was really pretty easy with uh, all terrain. I think his is a hybrid, so it's a mud and um, all terrain. But yeah, it's, it's hard to see. But that's <laughs> there's a lot of ice down there. I will right, we'll continue on. But that view, ugh. Okay, I think we have to end this. 
look how packed this snow is. Oh gosh, I mean, <laughs> no one's been here. Uh, that's footstep with Scott's, no tire mark. And uh, yeah, this. <laughs> oh my gosh, the view though. So we're about like under a mile left, maybe 15 more minutes up the trail. And we're about easily over 10,000 feet right now, elevation. So, wow. Yeah. I don't think we can do it. At least with my tires, we can. We probably need some like snow tire or mud tire to get through this. <laughs> but check out the view real quick. Oh my goodness! That view! Woo! Yeah. Oh my goodness! Woo! Look at this! No one's here! Except us! Oh, we went crazy enough! Oh my gosh, look at that view. So the little Lake Valley trail head is all the way over there. But uh wow. That's so cool. All right guys, I don't know if you can hear me, it's a little windy, but uh, this is it for us with this trail. You gotta turn around, it's a flat spot. Uh, take some picture, enjoy this scenery. It's about five o'clock, we got about two hours of sunlight left. We didn't wanna get uh, uh, stuck out here. I mean, we won't get stuck, but it's cold, so I think it's gonna drop pretty cold tonight. And uh, we went as much as we can. We got another uh, 0.5 miles. I would say from the look of the GPS uh, or a good 15 minutes left but uh, as you guys can see there's no way we can get through that especially with my tires um, and it's not just snow it's packed ice so even Scott was his wheel was turning I put on locker my wheel was turning as well so this is it but you guys want to go out check out this trail when it's a little bit more dry a little less snow Wow, wow. I mean, we've done this trail before to the other side, Little Lakes Valley, uh, go up to Gem Lakes, backpacking, but uh, it's a whole nother thing to go overlanding here. So yeah, we're gonna park here, take a few pictures, maybe take a break. I mean, the view is just amazing. And then uh, head away down and hopefully find a campsite, a little bit lower elevation. That way it's not too cold at night. All right, catch you guys. Look at that truck though, that color. Mm -mm -mm. Even pinstripe and everything. Trying a new tent today, ice cold. We'll see how this is, but a little ghetto, but uh, we have to cook inside. <laughs> right there, but hopefully it's okay. <laughs> it was just so windy we couldn't get the flame going. So it is what it is. Wow, it's so good. Mm. Got so our Divos. Light, <laughs> lighting us all sitting in a small little tent. 
All right, so we're just chilling next to a fire. Uh, we got a product that was sent out to us called Get Out Gear or Go Gear on Instagram. So check this out, it's a blanket, fleece blanket. And uh, yeah, it's nice, it's for men for backpacking. But uh, it's really nice and warm. We got a chance to use it, but. It's really comfortable. Oh, does it just go on to your, there. You guys probably see that well, even with all the smoke. <laughs> there it is. Easy setup and nice and <laughs> warm. Yeah. It's super light, right? Yeah. It's really How much soft. Yeah. Warm. Lightweight. Definitely. All right, go gear. Shop go gear or get out gear. Uh, I'll put their Instagram and all that on the video. But yeah, thank you for uh, sending that out. We're going to get Scott one. <laughs> 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 he looks cold right now. <laughs> he wish he had a blanket. <laughs> Oh, he has all the. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> all right, yeah. On Instagram, shop go gear or get out gear. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool blanket. All right.